So here is the first of several videos explaining my solutions to the trigonometry puzzles. So this is question A, and we're told to compute sine 36 as an exact value. So there are kind of two ways to do this. One of them is to use a pentagon as shown, and the other way is to just rearrange using some trig formulas. So I'll use the pentagon method first. So this is a regular pentagon, and because it's a regular polygon, it means it's cyclic. So that means all the vertices of the pentagon will lie on the circumference of the circle. We know that every angle of a regular pentagon is 108 degrees. I'm going to construct C, A, and A, D. I'm going to label the center of the circle as O, and construct C, O, D. Now, we know that the angle at the circumference is equal to half of the angle at the center. So angle CAD is half of angle COD. But we know what COD is. COD is 72 degrees. That's 360 degrees divided by 5. So it follows that angle CAD is 36 degrees. But by symmetry, that means that this angle here is 36 degrees, and this angle here is 36 degrees. And all three angles will add up to 108 degrees, as we stated earlier. Now I'm going to construct BE. Notice that because triangle ABE is similar with triangle EAD, then this angle here must be 36 degrees. And a similar logic can be applied to show that this angle here is 36 degrees. I'm also going to label this point here as P. Now, because angle PAE is 36 degrees and angle PEA is 36 degrees, then the remaining angle must be 108 degrees, which implies that this angle here is 72 degrees. Now, importantly, this tells us a couple of things. This tells us that triangle ABP, triangle ABE, and triangle AEP are isosceles from the angles. And so, in particular, that implies that AB is equal to BP. We also have AB is equal to AE. And finally, AP is equal to EP. Furthermore, we know that triangle ABE is similar with triangle PEA. So this implies that BE over AB is equal to EA over EP. We can cross multiply now, so that means that BE times EP is equal to AB times EA. However, we know what EA is. EA is also equal to AB. So this is just AB squared. Looking at the diagram, we can substitute BE for BP plus EP. Finally, I'm going to replace BP with AB, because BP and AB are equal. Here, if I divide both sides by EP squared, I'm going to get AB over EP plus EP over EP is equal to AB squared over EP squared. 
now I'm going to make a substitution. I'm going to let x equal ab over ep. Then this equation here simplifies to x plus 1 is equal to x squared. And there's only one positive solution to this. x is equal to the golden ratio, which is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. So we now know the relationship between AE and EP. It's just the golden ratio. Now I'm going to drop a perpendicular from P to AE, like so. This gets me two right angle triangles. Now, cos of AEP is equal to AE over 2 over EP. Let me write that down. But since AE is equal to AB, this is also equal to AB over 2 over EP. And since we know that AB over EP is just phi, this is just phi over 2, which is 1 plus root 5 over 4. But angle AEP is just 36 degrees. So now we know the exact value of cos 36 degrees. It's equal to 1 plus root 5 over 4. Now finding sine of 36 shouldn't be too big a problem. We can draw a triangle and say this angle is 36 degrees and this is a right angle. If cos of 36 is 1 plus root 5 over 4, all we can say is that this length here is 1 plus root 5 and this length here is 4, and we want to find this distance y. To find this distance y, we can just use Pythagoras. So y is equal to the square root of 4 squared minus 1 plus root 5 squared. This is equal to 16 minus 1 minus 2 root 5 minus 5, which is equal to square root of 10 minus 2 root 5. And so therefore, sine of 36 degrees is just square root of 10 minus 2 root 5 over 